Okay, welcome back. This is part two of two. Um, in this video, we're describing um, deploying NS Client um, plus plus agent um, to multi multiple machines across a Windows domain. Um, and in the previous video, there was a brief typo in the name here, NS Client plus plus, which some of you may have noticed. But at any rate, we're down to one minute here, and we're waiting for this to deploy on our Windows client machine. So I'm just going to pull up the task manager and we'll be watching to see the NS client plus plus process start. Um, so we're monitoring the process list here. So as you can see, um, NS client agent plus plus should be um, right about here. Um, it doesn't look like it's started yet. Um, the other thing we're looking for is MSI um, exec, um, which, let's just move this on the screen here, there we go. Um, the other thing we're looking for is MSI exec, which should execute um, as our process starts. And CCM exe, that's um, CCM, SCCM. Um, oh, and then there's the MSI exec, and then NS client plus plus just appeared in the process list. Um, so it looks like our <coughs> agent successfully installed. So let's go take a look and see. See, it's in the program files under. Okay, and as you can see, um, NS client plus plus is now installed. Uh, let's take a look at the INI file to make sure the settings are correct. I'm just going to edit this in Notepad, and as you can see here, the installation now contains our custom INI file, which has the IP address of our Nagios agent. Alright, so everything's looking good there, so <clears throat> I'm going to flip back over to our SCCM install, and now we're going to take a look at setting this up on Nagios, so um, we can close this and just minimize. So let's go ahead and log into Nagios now. And I'm going to go to the config manager and I'm going to run uh, the monitoring wizard and we're going to select uh, Windows Desktop and the IP address um, of our client machine. Okay, so here's where it offers to have you download the agent. Um, we've already installed that using NS client, um, using SCCM rather, sorry. Um, so all we need to do now is supply the password. And we'll just leave the rest of these checks default for this video. And I'm just going to next through the rest of the configuration. Okay, so we've gone through the Nagios configuration. Um, now we're going to take a look at the running process list. Um, and other checks to see um, if this is going to populate correctly. And it'll be just one second here. Um, while we're waiting for that, um, another way we can validate the successful installation is to remotely query the process list um, on the remote machine. Um, so to do this, we can use the task list command. So I'm just going to check and make sure. So assuming you didn't have local access to the box, um, this is uh, something you could do. You could say task list, task list. I'm going to supply the DNS name of uh, our Windows 7 machine. And um, I'm going to pipe it to what's called find string, which is kind of like grep in the Linux world. So we're going to find string, and we're going to search for NS clients. If I can spell client right, plus plus. So that should come back now and tell us, yep, NS client plus plus has been successfully deployed and is running on that machine. Um, and as you can see, that we're having checks return um, green, which is good news. Um, so one other method we can use to verify the installation um, is to use um, the event log viewer. Um, so let me just move this view screen here. So what I'm going to do is run um, MMC, 
and I'm going to pull up the, the snap in for the event log viewers. So we're going to do add remove snap in. And any minute now this will pull up. There we go. Okay, so we're going to choose event viewer from the list. And we're going to point this at our remote machine. And as you can see, the snap is being added. Okay, we're going to say, let's look at our remote machine. Okay. And that should be all set, so we say OK. So now we're going to look at the applications log in the event log viewer, and we're going to look for um, MSI exec uh, messages. And let's pull this up here. And while that populates, let's check our status. So our checks are coming back. We have CPU usage, C drive, memory usage so far. Looks like we're just waiting for a few more to populate there. Okay, so I'm going to filter this now by by name and MSI installer. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. And we know it's going to be from today's date. So let's take a look. And we see an MSI installer message from today. And it shows the transaction. And some, also, some useful information here. This is the local cache where the MSI package is copied to along with the INI file. So that can be good troubleshooting information. And we're still waiting for the final checks to come back. Um, and you can see ping is looking okay. So um, that concludes the tutorial for how to um, deploy NS Client Agent++ um, across multiple machines in a Windows domain uh, making use of uh, Microsoft SCCM.